Hi everyone, it's a Friday. Woo woo! Yes, so this is Cocktails and Suitcases. Thank you for joining me. This week's um, topic is pretty much what activities can you do indoors? And I have Little Miss Lara with me, so I will make this video short. Uh, so we all know what's going on. Um, a lot of countries have announced this week to say um, gatherings that have a lot of people should be postponed or cancelled. That was their advice and of course uh, this is to actually help with um, the minim like with minimizing the spread of coronavirus. So with that coming to my play a lot of other industries have been affected negatively so the stock markets financial markets but for me because this is a travel channel i will concentrate on the travel industry a lot of people had to so this week's cocktail lara loves it um what do you want baby what do you want Okay, so a lot of people had to do had to do last minute booking cancellations, and you know, thank God to other to nice vendors that have either um, approved the booking cancellation or actually uh, changed the date. And there's still been other vendors out there that have pretty much refused to kind of uh, cancel the bookings. And for me, it actually made me think twice. Like, why are people, other people being punished for it? This is, this is not an act of human beings, right? This is, no one saw this coming. And if a president actually announced, for example, in that country to say there was going to be a restriction, um, there was going to be a restriction with tourism, with people entering the country, so that's not your fault you cannot still go there right especially if you're not a citizen of that country so i think uh vendors should still reconsider and actually either change the booking for their clients or cancel it um uh, but that's of course the topic of another day oh my gosh <laughs> lara loves this week's cocktail and it's a smoothie um it's a smoothie cocktail spinach water some bananas mangoes and some kiwis so what can you actually do indoors now that you cannot do anything this weekend or and people kids on spring break they get bored you're getting bored you're going crazy stay working from home so what can you actually do so here are some activities some fun activities that you and your family can actually do this weekend or even this week so number one picnic everybody loves a picnic so i would say when you're at home um kind of change the atmosphere right the background have a little nice um like a little nice mat instead of having dinner on the dining table why not have a picnic that's a change and that can actually be fun number two lara what's number two an easter egg oh. hunt what no, it's an Easter egg hunt. So Lara loves hide and seek. So depending on how much, um, how good <laughs> of hiding you are, that can be an activity that can take place the whole day and tire the kids out. Um, number three, spa night. So you can have spa night with your girlfriend or, uh, you know, uh, with the kids or even the family. So I think this is a good time to also relax. Uh, last but not the least, Lara loves to sing karaoke nights. So you can actually connect your P your PlayStation or your Wii and have karaoke night. Have a fun night for the family. Have a fun night as friends. And um, so those are some activities that I will be exploring with my family. I cannot wait to hear your comments and your feedback. Of course, follow me on Instagram, like my Facebook page, and you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Last but not the least, remember this time, yes, you are working from home, yes, you're stuck home, but this is more of family time. This is bonding time. So make sure you bond with your family and your loved ones. Please remember, stay safe. God bless. Until next time, bye. Lara, do you want to say anything? Peekaboo? Yes.
those are the activities we're doing this weekend. Wish me luck. Bye.